Hi, I'm Patrick O'Dwyer here with your Science Daily. Cue the intro. Do you want lower prices for gasoline? Well, pay attention because here at Science Daily, we're going to show you a great new biotechnology that's going to blow your mind. Corn, a vegetable eaten by lots of people around the world. But a lot of corn is not used for food, but instead for automobiles. And scientists have discovered the key to cheaper gas. Here's Robert Maher with more on this story. Hi, I'm here at Gentech facilities in Chicago, Illinois. Let's take a look inside. Here at Gentech facilities, Dr. Plotnik and his associates have been working on a new method to give corn the capabilities to break down into smaller pieces. To make gas cheaper for the mass transportation network is one of the greatest problems facing our world today. The research at our facilities can be the answer. Corn has been around for thousands of years, and it is amazing to think that corn hasn't just been used to feed our mouths, but also our cars. And now a moment with Dumb Joe. So Robert, what you're saying is I can take this and I can shove it in my car and it will run? No, you it first needs to be processed. Oh, what does process mean? Basically, processing is the conversion of cellulose, which is a starch found in corn, into ethanol, which is a key ingredient in gasoline. Harvested corn is transported to a mill for processing. At the mill, corn is ground up into cornmeal, making it more efficient to break down cellulose into sugar. The enzyme cellulase is then added to the cellulose to break it down. During fermentation, the resulting sugar is used to produce ethanol over the course of 48 hours. What we're trying to do is genetically modify the corn so that it produces its own cellulase and only the stems and leaves. And what this would do is eliminate the milling process and it would ultimately make ethanol production faster. This is how it works. A restriction enzyme cuts open a spot in the corn DNA leaving two loose ends called sticky ends. The gene for cellulase is then inserted into the DNA strand. The sticky ends help the insertion of the new gene. After this, an enzyme called DNA ligase stitches the gene into the strand. This gene only affects the stems and leaves of the corn plant, so the food supply isn't affected. Well, that's a good thing, because I like to eat corn. This newly developed biotechnology has led people to ask if it causes any real harm to our environment. According to Dr. Plotnik, no. This technology will be beneficial because it will lower gas prices, it will make the ethanol production process faster, and there are no potential side effects or risks from this GMO. In today's world, gasoline is the most used fuel for airplanes, trains, boats, and cars. With this new way of making ethanol, Corn kernels will no longer be needed to produce ethanol, causing ethanol to be cheaper, faster to make, and not affect our food supply at all. Also, mixing ethanol with gasoline or running a car solely with ethanol will reduce carbon dioxide emission from vehicles. The only question is whether biofuel will be able to meet the growing demand for fuel. Well, I guess that's a wrap. Tune in next week when we talk about the science of the new Porsche 918. I hope this episode wasn't too corny for you. Catch you on the flip side. Wait, the video's over?